Many people need to think about pulling differently. How big is the dog? How distracted is the dog? How small is the dog? And you can't get down on their level. How much is the dog into treats? Pulling is a giant problem. Watch what I'm doing right here. You're going to see four different dogs and how I deal with pulling. Look at my left hand. I'm taking the power away. This dog is seven months old, super distracted, and actually way stronger than it seems. Look at my right hand now. I switched hands. Now my right hand is ready to counter the strength of this dog and take away the dog's strength. Oh, now the dog takes its eyes off the dog and kind of, oh, switch hands again and take the power away. These are, I'm not going to call this a trick, but this is something that many people need to learn because the normal, oh, I'm going to do Joel's I'm going to put this dog, there's a reason I didn't put this dog on the leash and give the dog a down inside correction. One, it was too distracted to understand it. Two, the dog is too big. So even a six foot leash, the dog gets in front of me, there's nothing I can do. Okay, and a pull and a flip. Did it hurt the dog? In no way did it hurt the dog, but it was about the only way to get the dog's eyes off of that dog running around. This dog's actually way stronger than it looks. It's like a professional athlete dog. It's super strong. And you're going to see that. You've seen that. And you're going to see that in a minute. Now the dog's walking up to the dogs nice, nicely. So I'm going to go with the dog. And then you're going to see a pull right, right there. There's a little pull. And I do it again. We are training this dog that whether my hand is on the collar or a leash is on the collar, it does not go where wherever it wants to go. And you're going to see me train all the dogs today in this video, the exact same thing, but you're going to see different methods. You're going to see tiny dogs. You're going to see a young out of control German shepherd. Now, was that the worst pull in the world? No, we, we have to allow some pulling, but it can't be extreme pulling that is on a leash. That is wow. You're holding the dog's collar. Let's say someone comes over to your house. I see it all the time. People, someone stands 20 feet into the, there, too much looking at the dog. We need to set the tone a little bit and now the dog sits and now the dog is calm. People need little tricks like this. So someone comes to your house, you're 20 feet in your house, husband or wife opens the door, the other person has the dog in the back and the dog just pull, 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 never takes their eyes off the guest coming over, then they let the dog go. How about you do this butt touch method, you get the dog a little bit on your page in the house, then you let the dog go and it's, it's chill by about 50% once you let the dog go. How about use that method for that? How about when you're, anytime you're holding your dog's collar, if the dog doesn't take it, its eyes off the stimulus or the trigger, the thing, the person coming over, the other dog, it will bound up to that thing with the same energy as if you did not ever hold your dog back. You holding your dog back does nothing if the dog doesn't take its eyes off the stimulus, as I call it, okay, or off the trigger. And you're going to see that in this video. Now, this dog was great with dogs. It doesn't mean this dog can fly up to every single, it's too big to do that. It's too young to do that. Dogs and people are not going to like it. So there had to be that. And, and I want you guys to see it. I want you to see my hands switch from the collar based, and you're going to see it more with another big Great Dane who's actually reactive and actually doesn't like dogs. How I switch my hands. I want you to look at that and study that. That's how you hold a dog and that's how you hold a dog back. And that's how you take some of the power away. In a minute, you're going to see uh, some of the original audio of me talking to this client about how much this dog pulls on the collar, how much and how much we need to and, and how much rehearsal of the behavior there is. So we're going to watch that right now. Pavlovian, you know anything about behavior? Yeah. Pavlo yeah. Okay, so he has heard clank, 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 <laughs> and felt the tightness. So the minute he kind of hears, it's, it's like, um, um, perfume from an ex or something. It will actually elicit a very visceral emotional state. Smells do it and sounds do it. Yeah. Sight doesn't do it quite as much. So when he starts to hear this and feel this, he kind of goes back into a different state, whereas we had a new thing. And so it kind of elicits, it actually, I start to tighten up on this thing. Look, at, I'm, I'm pulling it almost as hard as I can. Like he, he knows to, and he has rehearsed, oh my gosh, fighting against this thing so much. Bro, you got no shot in this thing. You got no shot. He, he has a visceral reaction to this collar that is from too much pulling to where you pull, he fights. I'm, I, I'm using all my strength, all my strength. Yeah. He fights this. I, I don't need to, I think you get it. Yeah, yeah. It's, I'd rather go to a 
a front clip. I'd rather go to a prong than keep using this. And I'm not even a prong guy. He, he's got too much history on this thing. You'll never get it. I'll never get it. You gotta change something. Yeah. I mean, even this. Yeah. It's such, it's such a history of doing this. We gotta get that history out of his head. Mm -hmm. Using the same collar, the dog pulling on the same collar, you have to change the stimulus. You have to switch up the collar, go to a gentle leader, go to a front click, go to a prong, go to something to change the history. The next video you're gonna see is a tiny dog that also has a history of pulling and you're gonna hear what I say to the owners. We are not going anywhere. I could care less where this dog wants to go. Now she's standing, but you can't do it on the collar. I mean, I'm doing it on the collar, but it's because it's not hitting her here. It's hitting her on the side, which I don't really care about. We're not going anywhere. This is not that hot. She is still wet. Mm -hmm. But this, this thing of, of I'm on a leash, she's on a leash, and she just goes where she wants, it's like a virus. It's like really, it's, it's bad. It's, it'll carry over to the rest. Now she's, okay, now she's leaving. I don't care. You can't care. There's no more following. There is no more leaving you on a leash. It's, it's, it's hard though. So I did a little, well, I just, it's like she gets so much power behind her and she tries, she goes, I'm gonna go this way. Then I'm on this way. Now I'll look at Joel. Now if I start walking, she's gonna pull. It's a tough thing you're dealing with. But it, it doesn't, it doesn't stop being tough. Like her, her, per, that's why you need this thing. You need a, you might need a born, like you might need more. Okay. It ain't getting fixed today. It's too much. Now she's getting warm. But, but she's fine too. You can't, you gotta be careful of the heat, but you also, right. she, she act, I was over there going, oh my God. Is she getting hot? We need to go to the shade. And then she came over here and she goes, I feel like smelling pee. Like she wasn't like all freaked out. She was just like, uh, I just like to go where I like to go. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll walk her up there. Because it is, it is hard. Mm -hmm. Look at this, look at this. She's so used to just doing this with you. Yeah. It's like her, it's her normal state. She's more comfortable like this than she is. She's uncomfortable on a loose leash. Yeah. People think, oh, my dog chokes itself. Yeah, your dog loves it. Your dog loves this position. Your dog does not want, know what to do in this position, yeah. except get back to this position. And we have to change that. So even with that little dog, you saw me use my foot to take the power away. Why didn't I do the same thing as a Great Dane with that tiny dog? Because the dog's too small. I don't feel like bending down that whole time. So I use my foot and I use the leash pressure method and the kind of let the dog get to the end of the leash and then give a little correction till the leash was loose and then let the dog, and then when the dog's good, we go forward to where the dog wants to go, but only when the dog is good. All right, unfortunately the camera work, I didn't have an assistant, so the camera person is letting Prince out and so you're gonna, he, it's, the camera work is not gonna be that great. A lot of barking from this young dog. This is a young out of control, not out of control, this dog has leash reactivity. You're gonna see the butt touch method in full effect right here until the dog, this dog's fine with dogs, but this is on leash reactivity. Being good, right there, right there. We're over it, okay? There, this dog will never get better with barking if it's able to sit on the end of the leash and bark. Now it's not barking. Now it's gonna flip around, see the dog, and bark and more until the dog comes down. These German Shepherds, they get out of their minds. Bark, we're not stopping, we're not stopping. I will, pardon me about the camera work. I had one, uh, the camera work was my, my, my trainer. That's the way it goes sometimes with this stuff. Now the dog's not barking. Now the dog's not barking and the dog has freedom. There's nothing, there's no adverse stimulant, okay? And the dog is making it, look, at, I'm ready though. Dog's making the way to Prince. At any point, if the dog barks, the same thing is gonna happen. Can I, do I expect you to walk down the street and do this? I do not. But there might be times when you have to stop and do this. Oh, dog's being good. So the dog's being reinforced. What's the reinforcement? I don't have trees. The reinforcement is walking up, is being able to walk closer to a dog that it wants to meet and it's happy for. 
and now the dog is off leash. I helped this dog in that the dog was just freaking out and it wasn't able to freak out over and over and over again for the first time. If this dog was on the end of the leash, it would have been very difficult. All right, big Great Dane, look at me. This is a polar and this dog is super distracted by other dogs. Never, seven year old dog had, I don't think ever really met another dog. And it's a rescue, she rescued it at like a year ago. Great, all these owners were awesome. But, oh, the dog hadn't met a dog in its years. Yeah, cause she got it at six years old. Okay, no hate for any of these people. Look at me, dog's too big. Do I have to have that right hand ready. I, I could get pulled over and forget even that. I probably won't get pulled over. I have no recourse if the dog is on a leash three to six feet in front of me. I have no recourse if the dog is at all in front of me pulling. The dog has to be to the side of me. I have to have that right hand ready because the dog isn't going to look at me for treats. The dog isn't going to feel a leash correction. It doesn't care. We have to do something else. So this is every single dog you've seen today. You've seen my, my hand or foot kind of butt touch to get the dog flipped and take the power away method. And I'm doing it with this dog too. As it meets dog, look, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Cause I have no, it's, there's too much power behind this dog. There's too much power. It pulls. I'm just giving a little pressure with that right hand and we're going to, but if this dog lunges and I'm not to its side and I don't have that right hand, it's going to get, it's either going to pull me over. Or it's going to get two feet, two feet from that dog. So I have to have this power. It's like power steering for you folks who remember non-power steering cars. This is now power steering. The gentle leader is power steering. Okay. This method of my hand being next to the dog and touching the dog differently is power steering. Doesn't really know dogs. Okay, so we're doing this and getting to know dogs, getting to know dogs, not being nice and pull the dog away and says, I want to go with the dog. It doesn't matter what this dog wants and then flip sides. Watch me flip hands. Now I'm on the other side. I got to use the other hand. All right. I've seen people accidentally let the collar go when they do the hand flip. So get your hands secure on the collar before you do that. If this video has helped you, subscribe to this channel.